There comes a time when you realize that living in an RV is not what you thought it was going to be. Yeah. And we want to take this week and share with you the reality of two adults, one dog, and two cats living in a very small place. So we retired one year ago this past June. During that time, we have gone as far east to west and north to south as you can go. We've made some amazing memories in this rig and we are very blessed and we know it. Yeah, we spent a lot of time in this rig. A lot. Yeah. That's why we call ourselves most timers. Yep, we go out for a couple of months, sometimes three months, and then come back for a month or so to see friends and family, kids and grandkids. But even with us being home for a month, four to six weeks at a time, things can tend to get just a little crowded when we're in the rig. I need the sink. So we want to share with you some of the issues that this has caused. And the dilemma that it's put us in. Yeah. And then hopefully it will help you if you're thinking about purchasing a rig and you're like us and you go, well, we're not going to be full time anyways, even though we're most time. I think I have more issues than Danny does. I'm going to be honest with y'all about that. And my number one issue is laundry. I have had to go so, to some very disgusting laundries this past summer. And, you know, I, I just don't see any way around that. Because I've gone to laundry mats that were $6.50 a load, which is very pricey to me. I've gone to others that were cheaper. Uh, one laundry mat was my clothes smelt terrible when I got them out of the washer. Don't know what the deal was with that, but I had done two loads, but they just really stunk. I even brought the clothes back and had like spots on my white sheets from the machine that I used to wash them in. I had laundry that the dryer didn't work. I mean, it, it was just never ending this summer with the laundromat. In other places, we were so far from the laundry that it was an hour away to get to a laundromat. So I want, and I'm the person who said, I never want a washer and dryer because going to the laundry is not that big of a deal. That was before I did it for a year. Going to the laundry is a pretty big deal and I want a solution to that problem. Another one of my big issues is the size of my refrigerator. We can only get food for about three days in here, which isn't bad, but it would be really nice to have a little more space. Somewhere I could put things and they didn't get hid in the back and the refrigerator keep them until we go home and clean it out. And one last thing, I don't have a lot of room for ice trays. I really like ice in all my water and drinks and everything. So having a little more room in the freezer for ice trays would be great. So the biggest issue that I have is the lack of storage. I've got this one pass through and a few small compartments that have utility items in such as sewage or electric. I need space. I need storage. And you really don't know how much storage you need until, until you spend some time in your RV. And we've got to that point. This is something you need to think about when you're in the looking stage of trying to get an, an RV. So another issue we have is that you've got to really love someone to stay with them in this tight space. Yeah, there's not a lot of room. We find ourselves so many times as a- Tripping hey, over each other. Can you move out so I can move back there to the bedroom? Or can you come out of the bathroom so I can get by? Or can I open this door to the, to the hallway so I can get, get out to the front. So we're always shuffling around each other Yeah. in this 30 foot class C. Right. And in case we didn't say, and if you haven't watched our earlier videos and do not know, we are in a 30 foot Forest River Forester class C, which we have loved. Now, don't get us wrong. Frida is taking us to some amazing places.
So we're at Crystal River Preserve State Park. So we're in Florida, and if you hadn't guessed, we're heading down the Atlantic side. So this summer, we spent 24 days so we've just spent the last two weeks in Door County. Are you ready? Ready for a road trip. Today we're headed to Mackinac City, going to drive across the bridge and go explore. Last week, we took you to some of the most beautiful waterfalls we have seen in all of our travels. Daniel linked that video up here. This week, we will not disappoint you. We are going to Pictured Rock National Lakeshore. We made it to the Everglades. That's right. Florida's largest national park. Like Lynn said, we've been all across this country, but we've got to make a decision on this rig. And also we wanted to point out that we've got plans, Alaska, whether next summer or a few summers down the road, where we'll be gone for about four or five months. And that's gonna get pretty tight in a 30 foot rig. So with all this being said, We've come down to a few options. Maybe it's time to hang up the RV keys. Or maybe it's time to go shopping for a class eight. With everything that we now know we don't have in this rig that we didn't know about. RVing is something that experience speaks a lot to and we now have the experience to know what we need a little bit better than we did when we bought this one. Or maybe we just keep old Frida here and <laughs> push through. Yeah, or maybe we don't. So, y'all tell us what you think. Do you think with, this, with the issues that we're having, do we need to A, keep this rig and push through, or B, start shopping for a new Class A, which would have everything that we needed? Let us know in the comments below what you think. Yep, and if you like our videos, it really helps the channel if you give us, a, give us a thumbs up, if you leave a comment like Lynn says, and if you subscribe. Yes. It helps us with YouTube and they'll push out more and more videos to other people. Yes. And we appreciate you for doing that. Yes. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America. <laughs>